Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a palette. It's a somewhat new palette in the makeup industry. I've had it for a little while, but it's the ColourPop. It's the Yes Please palette. This is a really cool palette. It's been in and out of stock for so long. I've had mine for a little bit, but it's a really nice warm tone. You can get a lot of summery looks at it, but there's some deeper shades that are more like fall type shades. And this is what it looks like. It's like a cardboard packaging, but I really like it because it's magnetic, which is nice and like an inexpensive palette. It's just $16. It has 12 shades that range. It's got, what I like about it is uh, some bonuses is a lot of times in palettes, um, you can't just use that palette. Like you have to go into other palettes. Like it might have a lot of shimmery shades. So you need some more transition and matte shades or it doesn't have that good uh, color to just like set down your lid because I like to just use this. Sometimes I use translucent powder like my setting powder but sometimes it's nice just to use the palette and it has this shade right here which is a really good like creamy kind of vanilla shade which is really great for the brow bone but also it's really great for setting down your lid. So overall I really like this palette a lot as you can see I don't have any I have my face done but my eyes are not done right now because I'm going to do a little mini tutorial showing y'all uh, a look using this palette but um, I'm going to show you some swatches. I'm going to show you a picture of some finger swatches and yeah so overall I like the tones of it. I would say like if you're more of a cool tone girl then you might not like this palette. It's very warm tones. There's some that are a little neutral but overall they're pretty warm. Um, I've heard some people I think Kathleen Lights on YouTube and some other people have said it's actually a dupe for the Natasha Denona palette. I think the Sunset palette. I do not have that palette because it's like $159. I can't afford to pay that much for an eyeshadow. That's ridiculous. But uh, I've seen some swatches and some uh, videos saying that this is a dupe for that. So if y'all have been interested in that palette, then you might really want to pick up this because it's only $16. It's off of ColourPop's website. But um, if you haven't like ever purchased anything from ColourPop or you don't have an account, if you sign up for that, you'll automatically get a $5 coupon so you can make this $11. So that's less than like a L'Oreal eyeshadow palette. So that's really cool. I like the uh, outside. It says QAF. It's kind of cute. The only thing I don't like about it is like it's called the Yes Please palette, but it doesn't say that on the front, which is weird. But it says it on the back. And then on the back it does give you like shade names. It's not just some like uh, more inexpensive palettes don't actually tell you any shade names. So it's kind of cool. It's got like cute little names like uh, Butter Cake, Mischief, Big Cocktails, uh, Spoiled, French Kiss. Just really cute shades. So overall I love the packaging on it. It doesn't have a mirror but you can't expect much considering it's uh, an inexpensive palette. But uh, other than that, I love the packaging on it. Even though it's cardboard, it is going to get a little bit messy, but I don't really mind that. I like that it's magnetic. That's a really good bonus to it. And I like that it has the shade names on it because, as you'll know, the Jaclyn Hill palette is really awesome. And that's like one of my favorite palettes of all time. But I thought it was, it kind of sucked that it came with a card showing the uh, names of the palette, but it wasn't actually on it. So I think that's cool. It, this is like half that price even and it has names on it so you probably can't see them because the white is kind of washing out but that's what it looks like on the back so it's really cute so overall I think this is worth the hype considering how many times it's been sold out I'm not sure if it's been sold out because of people talking about it and hyping up or because of the price I also think this is kind of comparable I don't have it so I can't say it's an actual dupe but just based on some of the colors I feel like it's very similar to like some of the colors in the Naked Heat palette which I don't have because even though because even though I'm an Urban Decay like naked fan of their palettes I I don't know it just like it was a little too warm for me like this is very warm but I felt it was like like more like burnt reds and stuff like that and this has too but I like that this has like some golds and it still has like some browns. The other one was just like straight up oranges and reds. Even like the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have a lot of reds too. But then they have like some like mauve tones. And some like really pretty like creamy vanilla tones. 
even like a really pretty, I think it's called Vermeer. It's like a really pretty shimmery white. Like I think it's good to have some of that. Just a pure warm palette with just like oranges and reds just isn't really wearable. Not for me. Maybe if you have a little bit deeper skin tone it is. But for my pale skin, it can make me look a little sick sometimes. So that's just my opinion. But I really love this palette. I'm going to show you a picture of the swatches right now. And then we'll get back to the video. Okay, now that y'all have seen the swatches, y'all can tell it's a beautiful palette. The shades are stunning and they're so pigmented. It's crazy. Like, one of the things, like, this isn't the first time I've been playing around with it for quite a while. But I love how buttery they are. Like, they're super pigmented and buttery considering it's, a, a like, a pretty much drugstore palette. And... There's some high-end palettes that don't even have that good of quality, so that's really cool. And I just love the blendability about it. You know, just pretty much anything you would like about an eyeshadow palette, I feel like it has. Like I said before, if you're like more of a cool or like neutral tone, it might not be for you. Like, but if, let's say like you have a lot of cool tone or neutral palettes, but you want to try out some warm tones, I feel like this is the palette for you. Because if you use that $5 coupon I told you about, get it for $11. I mean, that's worth it to use it even every once in a while, but I feel like if you like warm tones a lot, this could be like an everyday palette. So let's go ahead and get onto the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I put eye primer on. I'm going to go ahead and set with this shade right here called Full Zip. I'm going to set down my primer with that. Now I'm going to go into my crease and I'm going to start with, now I'm going to start with a transition shade and this right here is called Champs. It's kind of like a pinky peach shade. I'm just going to put this, you know, just kind of buff it into like my crease and a little above it for a transition shade. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and start building it up. I'm going to go in with a second shade right here called Big Cocktails. This is like a true like orange, kind of orange peachy shade. I'm just going to lightly kind of put it in there because they are very pigmented. They are a little powdery, but that's okay. It's kind of like the Anastasia shadows if y'all have ever had one of those. They're kind of powdery, but they're worth it because they're so pigmented, and it's because they're like so, uh, like buttery and smooth and blendable. Just like the Lorac shadows are very like that, much like that too. So I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm just making sure that I'm blending it all across. So yeah, this shade is really pretty too. I haven't used all these shades, but I've used quite a few. The one shade I haven't used is the yellow shade, just because it kind of scares me a little bit. I'm just like, I don't know how to use it, but I've heard a lot of people say that yellow can be a really flattering tone, so I don't know. We might use it. Then I'm going to go with this burnt orange shade right here. It's called Louie. I'm just putting this in my crease. I'm just building colors up to get that kind of blown out look. Kind of like a sunset kind of look almost with these colors. Uh, you might have seen I've done like a sunset look I think with the Anastasia palette but this would have been an even better palette to use for that because it really is like sunset kind of colors. It's so beautiful. I feel like this is a great palette also like to get out of your comfort zone a little bit like if you're used to just using like neutral everyday colors which is so fine because that's what kind of girl I am but I've been trying to kind of go out of my comfort zone and just have fun because that's what makeup is just being creative just doing your own thing so it's really cool okay then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring some brown into it the shade is called chauffeur or no I'm sorry the shade is called note to self bring a little bit brown to the crease And I'm going to blend that out. Make sure and just go along the edges, you know, buff them out so it's not so harsh. There we 
go. Okay, I'm gonna go back in to that original shade called Full Zip. And I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. I kinda already did when I set it, but I just wanna give a little bit more because you wanna bring some light up there with like these kinda orangey colors and stuff like that so it doesn't look like all together. Okay, there we go, that's better. Now I'm gonna go in with this uh, lash shade right here. It's called French Kiss. It's kind of a dark uh, reddish brown. I'm gonna get as much off as I can because I don't want too much, but I'm gonna put this in like my outer corner. Bring it a little bit in the crease, you know, like always. But I'm gonna bring it a little bit on the lid too, on that outer edge of my lid. There we go, that's how much I wanted, perfect. Okay, and do the same thing on this eye. There we go. And then I'm just gonna blend that out so there's no harsh edges. Okay, now lastly on my lid, I used a lot of orangey shades and there are some like orangey shimmery shades, but I really want to use this gold. It is called Butter Cake. So that's really pretty. It's like a really pure gold. I don't know if you can tell. But you'll be able to see from the swatches that I showed y'all. But so I'm just gonna take this on this brush. I'm gonna pat it on my lid. And if any of you are ever wondering why I blended out after I put on my lid shade, even though I didn't put it in the crease, because my eyes are just a little bit hooded and they touch my crease a little bit, it gets up on the crease and so I have to blend it out a little bit because I don't want it to look chalky or messed up or anything. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and put on some uh, mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. Um, I put on some mascara. I decided not to put any liner on just because I really wanted to emphasize that gold and some of those tones. I feel like sometimes if you do a black liner, it takes away from that. So that's just what I decided to do for this look. But I really like it. It's kind of like a really warm, like peachy, golden look, but it's still really simple and wearable for every day. So I really like that too. So if you think that you can't wear this like every day, you totally can and look like natural and stuff like that. So I really like that about that. You can also go in, there's some like really warm coppery shades and stuff where you could do really dramatic and like smoke it out with this uh, deep reddish brown shade. So that's cool about that. So overall, I do think this palette is worth the hype. I love it so much. And it's not even just about the price point. If it was more expensive, like a high-end palette, then I would think it would be worth the hype too just because no matter what, these colors are so blendable and very pigmented and just beautiful. And I feel like even though it is comparable to some of the other palettes and maybe like the Sunset palette from Tasha Denona, I don't know, I don't have it, but uh, I feel like it's still pretty unique because it has some other shades that you don't see. Like some of these like pinky peach shades. I don't really see that a lot in palettes. And like these uh, like yellow, just like bright yellow. It's just kind of a crazy color, but it's cool because you can do a lot of looks, but then you have like crazy colors where if you want to play around, you can. So I think it's really cool. So it is worth the hype. I hope y'all check it out. Don't forget about that $5 coupon I told you about. And thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.